Finding Mrs. Ford is an exploration of a woman's identity in two different stages of her life, when she's young and vulnerable, and when she's more mature and seemingly more rooted in who she is. It's about the past, catching up with this woman, and bringing with it the potential to reveal secrets that she thought were long buried. A single gunshot cracks the air. Seagulls flutter and levitate above the sand as Mrs. Ford's dogs rise barking. She too jumps just a little in her Adirondack chair and her feet lose their perch on the seawall. In August of 2014, the FBI shows up at the house of Susan Ford on the Atlantic coastline in a bucolic resort community of Watch Hill, Rhode Island. They come to ask her about a man called Sammy Fakuri, and Susan lies. She says she does not know him. If I were to describe the type of book that Finding Mrs. Ford is, I would call it a literary thriller. There's wild, crazy, passionate love in a disco. There's sweet young love kind of the Romeo and Juliet variety, and there's a deep and meaningful, heartfelt marriage that happens when one of the characters is a little bit older. So in Finding Mrs. Ford, the concept of the choices we make, the fact that something that you may think you buried long ago could still resurface, it could still play a part in your life, that's fundamental to this book. We had a great time designing the book cover, and hydrangeas are all over Watch Hill, mostly blue hydrangeas, but the white hydrangea is Mrs. Ford's signature flower. I think a wide variety of readers would read Finding Mrs. Ford because there are different time periods. There's the youthful, wild, sexy, edgy, dangerous Detroit disco in the 70s when everybody's looking for something and maybe or maybe not getting it. There's the more mature setting in Watch Hill, which is a more restful community. And then there's the thriller component. There are Italian guys and Chaldean guys, and many of them involved in activities that may or may not be legal. So I think a lot of people would like to read this book.